messages that, um, that that I wanted to give. So South Africa, one of our um, of our um, key partner uh, within our research activities, and uh, um, in terms of uh, of what we have done. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, highlighting the importance of the economic recovery also with specific attention to the COVID crisis, uh, just uh, two key messages that uh, we have been uh, very, very uh, quickly active, active on the health research side by launching some uh, specific um, projects uh, which were linked uh, to the um, to health aspects of the COVID uh, um, of the COVID um, disease. Uh, we have launched the first project in January 2020 and uh, we have uh, financed uh, around 18 projects uh, in research and innovation. And then uh, we, we, what we have done is to um, launch this uh, in very important uh, um, pledging event, uh, which was opened on the 4th of May by the President of the European Commission, Commission Ursula von der Leyen, and to which we were very glad that we had the attendance of the President Ramposa from South Africa, your President, he was there. And that was a very, a very good example, Professor, also on the fact that what we want to do, linked to your introduction, what we want to do in response to the COVID-19 is to develop vaccines, uh, treatments, diagnostics, but we want to do it in a way in order to, um, to have the benefits of those results research, innovation, developments, tackling all the population in the world, tackling also the most vulnerable population. I don't have the time, I don't want to be too long, but the European Commission adopted the at the beginning of April, a communication, uh, which is a policy document on the external response to COVID-19, where the different activities have been, uh, have been announced. And the one key point from a political point of view is that we want all that to be reaching out to the most vulnerable population. And we do want to work uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with Africa. In this context, I also should mention that we have uh, the EDCTP. Dr. Makanga spoke at the previous section. The director of the EDCTP, the European Clinical uh, European Developing Countries Clinical Trials Partnership, which uh, has been uh, very important in this reaction to COVID-19. Now, on uh, which are the priorities? What comes next? Um, what comes next is that uh, we have. Uh, so research and innovation, key element of the recovery. We have uh, uh, now uh, this uh, uh, program, the Horizon 2020 program, which is being phased out, and we are about to, to launch the new research and innovation program, Horizon Europe, which uh, should be launched at the end of this year. And there, let me say that uh, in response to the COVID um, in, uh, in May, the European Commission has adopted a specific recovery plan which feed, fed into the discussions that were ongoing on the multi-annual financial framework for the next seven years, discussions that, uh, um, that uh, were uh, um, successfully concluded by our leaders at the European Council in mid of July. And uh, within this uh, uh, multi-annual financial framework and within this recovery plan, the research and innovation plays a very, very strong role. There is a lot of space which is given, not only in terms of budget, uh, but also in terms of policy. On what will we focus? We will basically focus on global health. I don't need to explain why, it's clear. We will focus on the green transition, and uh, you, you told that the other uh, speakers before me talked about that. And we will, uh, we will focus also on, uh, on what is the digital transition and uh, the innovation. Here, I would like to make a specific link with the priorities that we have in our cooperation with Africa. We have uh, a high-level policy dialogue with the African Union, and uh, it is uh, very relevant uh, to say in this context, speaking with South Africa, being South Africa the current chair of the African Union. And this, uh, uh, this uh, high-level policy dialogue is in fact based on partnerships related to food, nutrition, security and sustainable agriculture. 
to climate change and sustainable energy. So the link with the green transition. And there uh, I would like to say that we are about launching a very important call on the, on the green transition with a specific, um, a specific uh, um, part related to cooperation with Africa, which should mobilize 40 million of euros from the EU side in order to uh, finance specific activities of cooperation with Africa in the field of the Green Deal. And then we have a specific partnership on innovation and technology. Um, the EU-African Union Partnership on Innovation and Technolo Technology, which was launched last year, which gave already uh, birth to different uh, partnerships between uh, startups and ecosystems from the two continents. And here, what is important to say that uh, with, the, with the COVID crisis, the innovation cooperation has increased tremendously. And I think that we have a huge opportunity to use cooperation in the field of innovation in order to support the, to support the, the, the recovery from the economic point of view. Now, just two words to conclude, because it's running late for everybody, not only for me, is that uh, in, term, in times of crisis, one has the tendency to look inwards, uh, to, to say that we need to think about ourselves because we do have a problem and that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is that we want to react uh, to the crisis, enhancing our cooperation with the key strategic partners, uh, such as South Africa, of course, uh, a leading strategic partner for us, but also with Africa as a whole. We will have, as I already mentioned, the new uh, research and innovation program uh, Horizon Europe which should be launched soon with a clear strategy on international cooperation aimed at supporting green transition, digital, global health and innovation. And we want to use those mechanisms in order to serve our political willingness to be even more open and more cooperative in these moments of crisis. So I hope that I managed to, keep, to pass you the key messages I try to do without using too much of your time. And once again, thank you very much for the invitation to this very important seminar.